Asylum seekers are served lunch at Ritsona camp, 90 kilometers north of Athens. On today's menu, burgers with mashed potatoes or pasta with bolognese sauce. There's a choice of salad, fresh tomatoes or beets. Some people take the food home, others just take the salads and throw the cooked meals away. Parvana Amiri, an Afghan who's lived at this camp for two years, explains why. They don't want to take the food because they don't eat it. They don't want it because it is not edible for most of them. And they don't, you know, it, it is getting repeated, especially for the children. Such food waste seems incomprehensible, especially considering that of the 18,000 refugees living in camps on the mainland, 60% are in danger of going hungry. That's because state aid is given only to those in the process of applying for asylum. And most camp residents have already been accepted or rejected. They're now expected to fend for themselves or leave the country. But excluding these people from state aid, say refugee charities, undermines what the government achieved by putting them in camps in the first place. A few months ago, when people who were eligible not to stay in the camps, you, you saw them in the, in, the, in the Victoria Square, and it was the same government who took those people from those squares and put them in those camps, in Ritsona, in Malakas, in Leonard. And now it's the same government who's asking them to leave because uh, they need to implement the law. And many here say the government has just made the problem worse. Governments have typically taken over tasks aid groups developed in times of crisis. Earlier this year, the government took over management of mainland camps from the United Nations. On October 1st, it further shrank the UN's role, assuming responsibility for cash handouts. These transitions haven't always gone smoothly. The 40% of camp residents eligible for cash hasn't received any for two months, starving a fledgling economy inside the camps and leading to a hunger crisis. Many, like the Amiri family who've been granted asylum, are living off savings. Others rely on cash from relatives. This, aid groups say, is a manufactured crisis resulting from Greece's lack of integration policy for refugees. Most of them are extremely resilient, they're resourceful, and they're not a burden. They just need some support, real support, and a plan that will look at their needs from reception to integration. And then they will just be an asset for us and not a burden. Greece says it is merely implementing the law, supporting those deemed in need of protection and asking everyone else to go away. But they have nowhere to go. John Saropoulos at the Malakasa and Ritsona refugee camps.